seriously. Oh, I'm just surprised then. I know. I think they all know you're going to be here. Oh, we got to fix the camera. I got it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come sit down. Hi, everyone. Can Welcome I do to it? all. Nope. Why? <laughs> I never get to do it. Well, you know. I'll let you do other things, okay? Let me fix the camera the next time. Okay. I'll teach you how to fix the camera. I already know how to fix the camera. Welcome, you guys. It's Friday. Can you tell? <laughs> and we've been doing this all week, right? I Having, think so. You think so, yeah. I haven't. Well, actually, I have. Okay. All right. Okay. Thumbs up or let us, let us know if you can hear us. Can you take off this? Yeah. So let us know is that first that so they can hear us. Yep. Wait, someone the time. Yeah, yoga. All right. Type in. Yes, we can hear you. Or give us a thumbs up. <laughs> like type a thumbs up emoji. Okay. Is anybody telling us they can hear us? No. No? Let me make sure I'm on. This is on. Oh, let me see. Maybe this isn't on. Oh, that's not on. Okay. Can you hear us now? Give us a thumbs up emoji. I forgot that I think we can hear on. you. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Okay. Yes, we can hear. Okay, you. thank you. Woo, that was close. So maybe they didn't hear us arguing. Come sit down. Good, they did. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, you guys. It is three o'clock Friday afternoon on this week that has felt like almost a year. No, but <laughs> yeah, it's three o'clock. Yeah. Um. We're so happy to have you join us on this Friday afternoon. We got outside for a quick hike before it started raining. On yeah, us, and that but was great. Actually, we only got halfway through the hike. Mm -hmm. It started raining. What? I know Zephyr keeps getting up because he likes to read. Up here. Oh, who is? Fox Hi. and V. Hi from Fox and V. Hi everyone. I know lots of our friends are there. So Eileen is there. Sanchita, Hi. Fox and V, James and Jonah. Who I else? Did I miss anybody else? Let's see. Yeah. Never all go check because I know you guys like getting shout outs, right? Um, so fun. Um, Anybody else? Rebecca. Rebecca? Mm. I don't know if that's the kid's name or the mom's name. I think it's the mom. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to get started. Fox and V are here. I know. Zephyr's friends in California are here. Tell okay, come sit down. Fox and v. All right, you guys ready for. Can we bring our hands up? For spring garden yoga. Yesterday, first day of spring. I thought today was gonna be was gonna be a little warmer when we took our hike. It was still didn't feel like spring, but we did notice what was coming up out of the earth. Plants. Yeah, there were so many flowers blooming. The daffodils were the big one and the crocuses. I've seen a lot of those little ones, the, the purple crocuses. It's been beautiful. All right, you guys, show me your hands. I'm gonna give a little cough. <coughs> and bringing your hands behind your back. Oh, Get out your okay. Feet in front, and here we go. Are Hi. you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your feet and make some noise. And stop your feet and make some noise. And stop your feet and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your legs. All right, everybody, lean forward. Are you ready? For yoga, if you're ready, then stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your arms. Take a deep breath in, and then lower them with a big rain down. Hands and feet. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready. Then stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise and stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise and stop. Lift up your arms. Lift up your legs. You guys know what we're going to do. Ready? Go from boat. Everybody say boat. Boat. Hug. Hug. Boat. Hug. Hug. <laughs> All right. So this morning I decided to mix it up a little and we did a different order. So you guys ready? I'm going to get go a little different. You ready, Zephyr? We're going to go pizza. Pizza. River. Repeat after me. River. I said sign. Butterfly. Butterfly. River. Sandwich. Sandwich. River. Er. Boat. Oh. Butterfly. Fly. Boat. 
Oh. Butterfly. Fly. Can you cooperate, please? Crisscross the other sauce. Crisscross the other sauce. <laughs> all right. All right. Can you tell we've been together all week? Can you tell we've been together, <laughs> together all week? <laughs> Ah, big breaths, right? Big breaths, right? You didn't say stop coughing. I'm asking you, can you please? Okay. Thank you. All right, today we're going to start our spring garden class with, of course, flower breath, and Zephyr's friend Freya is on the back. Freya. If you're uh, watching, Freya, <laughs> say hi to yourself. Okay. So hi. we're going to take our hands open like flowers. I, I would like for you to be focused. Okay, thank you. Hands open like flowers and put them on your knees. Okay. So this is one of my favorite breaths to teach because now perfect timing. It is the beginning of spring. The flowers are starting here on the East Coast. We we're just ways of doing it. Yeah, we, so he can, you can do it the way Zephyr does. You can do it the way I do it. It's your choice. So the flowers are just starting to pop up out of the ground. So here we get the daffodils are like one of the first and the crocuses are one of the first. But I want you, wherever you live in the world, to think about your favorite flower or flowers that are blooming right now at the beginning of spring. Or if you're not really sure, just think about your favorite color. Open. So I like to start with my palms open and when I inhale, they close. And when they exhale, they open. The flower is open, but it hasn't even opened yet. So you want us to what? Start like this. And then like, inhale open. Like so like the flowers are open. Okay. I'm gonna teach it and you can do it in a way that works for you. Okay, we're gonna do hand palms open. Imagine your flower ready. We're gonna inhale our palms closed like this, petals closed with a big inhale. And then exhale when they open. Now, I like to close my eyes for this one, but it's your choice. Some of you might not feel like closing your eyes, so just look down in your mouth. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. Imagining your favorite flower. Inhale. And exhale. I think we should do one more. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. And then gently open your eyes or look up if your head was down. Awesome job, you guys. All right. Or open your eyes and look up if, you're, if you were doing those. Yes. So we're going to get ourselves up on our feet with our normal roly-poly pop. We're going to do all of our standing warm-up that we do. And then guess what, you guys? We're going to plant our own little garden right here. So be prepared for your own little flower garden. All righty, so Zephyr, as always, is going to demonstrate his roly-poly pop, right? Can you, can you do this? Nope, I'd like for you to do it. We haven't practiced it the other way. So once we practice it, then we'll do it that way. All right, my friends, Zephyr yeah, is going to, to make it a little brighter. Ready? Roly-poly pop. Okay, go a step back, and let's make sure we're in the right spots. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're great. See, we've practiced this part a lot. So this all takes a lot of practice. All right, so if you have a sunshine, right? So do you have a particular color you want, Zephyr? Do you want the orange or the yellow? Okay. So we've been using the sunshines all week. And um, if you no. don't... We've been using the hearts. We use the heart. We use all different things. So you decide what we're going to do the sun warm up first, and then we'll do a little mountain walking. All right, ready? Everybody, sun on your head. Let's see if we can balance it. If you don't have a sunshine, just use whatever you have in the house to put on your head. It could be anything. It could be a stuffy. It could be a paper plate. All the way up on your tippy toes, and then down on your flat feet. Zephyr is practicing walking, so you can practice walking as well. Up on your tippy toes, and then flat feet. All right, everybody, take your sunshine. Oh, you're going to try a tree with it. Wow, look at you. Nice job. All right. Okay, everybody, take your sun. Let's warm up body parts. Ready? Warm up your belly. Warm up your knees. I'm going to step back so you can see my whole body. And your toes and your knees and your belly and your back and your belly and your shoulder and your other shoulder and your elbow and your nose and your head and the sky. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. 
but one more, take a deep breath in. All right, everybody, reach your sunshine all the way up. Bring your sunshine all the way down. Give it a little tickle. Say hello, sun. Give your toes a tickle. Say hello, toes. And then we hide our sunshines under our mat. Come on. Hey, Zephyr. Come on. I'm hiding my sunshine deep down under my mat. It's Friday. Hands together at your heart. Ready? Um, why do you keep on saying it's Friday? Oh, because I think we're all feeling like Friday right now, right? Hands to your heart. Maybe you're going to watch this on a Monday and then you won't feel like a Friday, but I'm feeling like a Friday today. Oh, Friday where we spent the entire week in our house. You ready? Hands together at your heart. Everybody say, mountain. Mountain. Arms up to the sky. Mountain. 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 Can we go back to your back, please? Volcano. So Zephyr's getting a little creative with his mountain and volcano. <laughs> you can do it like me or you can do it and be creative. Ready? Mountain. Mountain. Volcano. Ready? Mountain. Mountain. Volcano. And then you know what comes next. Standing star. Standing star. Twinkling star. Twinkling star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Standing star. Standing star. Dancing star. Standing star. Golden star. Lift one arm up. Twisty star. Twisty star. Twisty star. Twisty star. Hey, Zeph. Slow down. Twisty star. Both hands down. Shake your head. Yes. Shake your head. No. Walk your hands up nice and slow. All right. We, we're going to come down to the ground, but we're going to do it in a nice slow chair elevator way. We haven't done this yet. So we're going to reach your arms all the way up and we're going to sit in our chair and then we're going to get a little lower and then we're going to get a little lower and we're going to get a little higher and then we're going to get a little higher and then we're going to get a little lower. You just stay here for a breath. Take a deep breath in. It's hard, right? When uh, things get hard, you know what you can do? Take a big, big deep breath in. Ready? Inhale. <laughs> Zephyr. Inhale. Can okay. this? No, I'm asking you just. And then come all the way down. And he's going to lower himself all the way down to the ground, and I'm going to lower the camera. Okay. okay. Here we go. What step can I do it? Okay, so you are where you are. I am actually feeling warm, so I'm going to take off my sweatshirt. I can't take off my sweatshirt. You know you. Uh, All right, you guys, we're going to dig in the dirt. Ready? Yeah. So everybody get your shovels. You guys have a shovel? All right, here we go. We're going to dig a little hole here. We're going to plant ourselves as a seed. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Get your shovel. Shovel the dirt. Shovel the dirt. Shovel, 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 shovel the dirt. Hey, Zephyr, is there anything else in there that we need to get out of the way before we plant ourselves roots. in there? Some roots, some old roots. Ready? Shovel those roots. Shovel those roots. Shovel, 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 shovel those roots. Do you guys see any rocks in there? Yes. Yeah, let's get those rocks out of the way. Instead of singing our song, let's just shovel those rocks. Ugh, get them out of the way. Shovel those rocks. Ugh, get them out of the way. So Zephyr is going to show you how you're going to turn yourself into a little seed and bury yourself in the earth. There you go. So Zephyr is a seed. You guys are all going to be seeds. Maybe grown-ups can come and help you become a seed. All right. So I want you to become whatever seed. You can be in child's pose, and he's deciding not to be. But I like to be in child's pose for this. But you can... My child's pose is uncomfortable since I was flying in while we Okay. So seeds don't talk, so you gotta be really quiet. So this this seed we're gonna cover with what you guys? More soil. All right, everybody get some soil, cover it on all over. So grown-ups get your seeds nice and covered. So all the seeds are deciding what kind of plant they're gonna grow into. 
Okay. So now that we've covered our seed with soil, what else does it do? Do we need to put on top? Oh yeah, we need to water it. Ready? Imagine you're spritzing some water. Spritzing some water, raining it down. And then the last thing we need to do is give our seed a little bit of whoop, here I got it. Some sun. Do you guys think these seeds grow slow or fast? Slow. How did they slow? Yeah. So let's all, and grown-ups included, we're gonna all be these seeds that are gonna grow into whatever it is you want. It could be a small flower, it could be a big tree, it could be whatever you want. And we know it takes all season for these things to grow, but we're gonna imagine that we're growing. So get in your little home, and here we go, maybe a little sprout, boop. Maybe you have another little sprout, boop. Maybe you come up like this on your knees, boop. Maybe you come onto another foot, boop. And I'm going to move the camera so you guys can get really tall like Zephyr is going to be. What are you going to grow into, Zephyr? Are you going to tell us? An apple tree. Ooh, Zephyr's growing into an apple tree. Mm -hmm. So maybe you turn into a, a tree. Maybe you stay low and you're just a flower. Not just, but you're a flower, so you're a little bit lower. Maybe you're some kind of veggie or fruit, right? And if you're some kind of root vegetable, you'd still be in the ground with like some stalks coming up, right? So you decide what your body is going to look like. Yeah, what am I? I have grown into some parsley. Because <laughs> I love parsley. And I grow a lot of parsley in my garden. Or kale. <laughs> I can't really see you, so why don't you come back onto the okay. No, I'd like you to come back onto the mat. So let's take it closer. All right, so we got so I, now I want everybody to come up and we'll do a little partner tree post. Okay. I'm a partner apple tree. Okay, so even if you are parsley or tomatoes or flowers, let's all come together to do our partner tree post because I always love partner tree post. I mean, I'm an so apple this tree. Is one but bring your foot down, find your other side. We're going through it a little bit faster than I normally do tree pose, but we've done this many times this no. week. Next. No, the other side. Behind. Yes. All right. Now, so I'm we're going to come on, no, get, no. we're going to come back down to the ground. Oh, can I do it? Fine. Okay. All right. We're going to let Zephyr be the tester now. It's, it's Friday. So can you do it? Yep. Oh, a little bit more. All right. Perfect. Right there. You can see me. It's pretty good. You did pretty good. I did good. All right. So we're going to do our flower pose today. And if you're with a group, I'm going to show you how you can do a group can flower. Nope. It's making me a little shadowy. We're going to bring our toes together just like this. And we're going to take our palms and put them inside. And we're going to take one arm through and the other arm through. Yeah. And then watch this, we're gonna see if we can lift our feet, Woo, like this. This is our flower pose. Yeah. I know, it's a little tricky. Wiggling your fingers, your toes. Yeah, awesome. So if you're with a group, watch that for me. So you, can you turn your body just a little? You would sit, you can't do it with two people, but you would sit in a circle and you would put your hands under. Can you put your hand under? And we would hold hands in the whole circle. And then we would fall. All right, put your hands under. Let's try it. I've never done this one. I don't think we can do this one as partners. My feet go over. Okay, you know what, Zephyr? I'd like to show everybody how to do it in a circle. So okay. feet together, your hands go under, and then I would put my hand under, and we would all hold each other and lift each other up into a big circle. Awesome. So that's our flower. So now I'm going to ask you. Can we work on the partner? Do you realize when, that, I know, but when this is done? Yes. So we're going to think about creatures that love our flowers. Can you guys shout them out to me? Butterfly. Yes. Bee. Yes. Anything else? Maybe hummingbirds. And yeah, hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. And then um. Yellow jackets for Yeah, okay. So let's start with our butterfly. We did a butterfly this morning, but we're going to do one today. So everybody's going to bring their toes to kiss. 
And this is a song that I sing for mostly preschoolers. So some of you might be older, so you don't have to sing with me, but you can. So we're going to, but this is really goes out to the younger kids. Ready? We go. Fly like a butterfly. Fly like a butterfly. Fly like a butterfly. In, can you do this? You don't have to sing it. In the sky. Show me antennas. These are my antennas. And then we hide inside our wings. All right, let's do it one more time really fast. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Antennas. And then we hide inside our wings. All right, you're going to bring one hand back and see if you can stretch your butterfly wings. Good. And then take your other hand and stretch your butterfly wings. How do you do that? Well, I've been doing this for a long time. But if you see Zephyr has trouble with it, so you can just keep your knee bent. Look, just keep your knee back, right? Or watch this Zephyr. You go on your back. I don't want to, I'm going to go this way. And you can open and close all four butterfly wings. Can you do that? <laughs> open and close. All right, butterflies. We're going to come up now onto our feet, just like this. I cannot. Okay, so I no, I'm not relieving it. Why? Oh, like that. We're going to be bees. All right. And then I'm, you're going to buzz around for me. So these are our bee pose, you guys. Ready? So I could be the flower, yeah. So I'm going, I need to know from you. I don't know if you know this, Zephyr. What part of the bee makes the buzzing sound? The wings. It's the wings going super duper fast. So we're going to start off like this. And then you're going to make your wings go super fast. And I'm going to follow Zephyr and he's going to buzz around for me. You ready, Zephyr? Like this. Ready? Can you stay over there, please? How will you make it so you can see my head? Okay, Zephyr's going to bend down and find his flower. So squat down again. So we squat like this. We find our flower. Ready? Let's drink some nectar. Okay, if you don't want to do yoga with us today, yeah. then you can leave. Thank you. Okay. Everybody drink some nectar. All right, you guys. Let's bring this nectar back to the hive. And what are we going to do with it, Zephyr? Make so, what? Make, make, make honey. If we're a honeybee, we're going to do what? Make, make um, nectar. Some, no, we drink the nectar to make the honey. Oh, honey. Yeah. Ready? We're going to go like this. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Can I just do this? <laughs> All right, you guys. So in my garden, there are, in our, in your garden, there are some creepy crawlies. This creepy crawly has eight legs. Who is it, Zephyr? It is a spider. So you might feel a little freaked out by spiders, but Zephyr knows a lot about spiders. Can you tell everybody why spiders are really good for our gardens? Do you know what? Because what do they, they eat? They eat the flies and other bugs that are trying to kill our flowers. Well, the, the flies and what are the, is the one pest? Mosquitoes. Oh, yeah, mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes, and we do not like mosquitoes. So even if spiders freak you out or you think they're really creepy crawly like I do, I love them and I love watching them. So we're, and I love having them in my garden and sometimes even in my home. I don't mind them. So we're going to be a spider. So we don't have eight legs, do we? No. Okay. But we can pretend we do. We can pretend we do. So we're going to do a really tricky pose. So I'm going to, hopefully we can do this together. So we're going to come up on our four legs. Imagine they're eight. And we are going to spin a Imagine web right one now. Year, one year, one year, one year. So we're going to spin this web. You ready, Zephyr? We're going to go around in a circle like this and spin a spider web. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're doing awesome. Spin your web all the way around. If you guys ever watched the spiders spin their web, it's the most amazing. I have. It's one of my favorite things yeah. to do, actually. We have a lot. All right, you guys. Everybody catch a pest in your web. I'm not going to catch that for in my web. Why? I'm just kidding. I'm going to catch a flyer or a mosquito. <laughs> okay, catch a pest like a flyer or a mosquito. <laughs> and then wrap it up. That's true. Wrap it up in your silk. All right, you guys. 
time to eat our prey. Can you scooch back for me? All right. So everybody get whatever it is that you just caught and create and, and turn into your food. We're not going to stick our toe in our mouth, right? We're going to use our thumb. Right. We're going to, you know what they do? Do they eat the whole thing, Zephyr? No. What do they do? They, the they drink the blood. Isn't that cool? It's my favorite thing. No, it's not. Everybody drink that blood. Okay, ready? Both legs. Ready? This one. And drink some blood from this one. And we are pretty full. I am so full. Are you full? Oh, that was really good. Yeah. All right. So not only do we have all these creatures who fly around and love our flowers, but we have creatures who Super. pop. Creatures who slither. Eat. Creatures who protect. Yeah, so um, one that likes to hop around that you might see in the Grasshopper. garden. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Or what else hops? Frogs. Frogs. A frog would not be in the garden. What? Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, unless so should we, garden, do, should we unless, do grasshoppers? Unless the garden is near a swamp. Oh, okay, well, he knows better than me. <laughs> It's near a swamp or a lake or a pond. Well, a common ground, they do, right? Yeah, but the frogs don't hop around the garden. Okay, well, he knows best, so should we be a grasshopper then? Yes. Okay. This, is a, this could be grasshopper. All right. But I'm letting you guys be whatever hopping creature you want. So Zephyr's going to show you, so he's going to show you how to hop. I'm going to hop front and then back, front and then back. Or you can hop like a grasshopper, show them how you want to hop. Oh, yeah, like a big jump. Or you can see how high you can jump. That's a frog. That's a frog. Well, I'm going to let you guys determine how you want to hop because this is your yoga, right? So, Zephyr, show us how you're going to hop. Let's see. Whoa, that was a giant one. That was pretty awesome. Can you do one more for me? So, guys, I think you should be hopping all around your entire garden right now. Awesome. All right. Come back to your center. So this is another creature. Before we start to slither, we did a, a flying creature earlier today that eats all the aphids from our garden. It's teeny tiny and red and black and black dots. Or it could be um, um, yellow or orange. Uh, it, oh, you're right. It could be yellow or orange. Or, uh, or it could be black with red dots. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy, I, I see, didn't know that. I see a black. Ladybug with a red dot on it. All right. Well, everybody, get on your knees. So if you didn't do this one with me in the last like class or two that I've done a ladybug, this is how we do it. I have never. It was seen last class. I have so never seen the ladybug. You've never seen a ladybug pose? Okay. Well, this are, these are your wings. We're going to slowly see if we can lower our head to the floor without bumping our head. Can you do it, Zach? Oh, yeah. Look at how strong you are. And then we open and close our wings. And then you decide how many, how old you are by how many dots. How old are you, Zephyr? How old's your ladybug? Hey. Oh, your ladybug is the same age as you. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how old my ladybug is because it's very, very, very old. Tell me. <laughs> you know how old I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm not 49 yet. Almost. <laughs> 48. All right. Well, he just told you. All right, you guys. Get on your bellies. Yeah. All right. Yes. So there are other creatures besides snakes in the garden. The one that we love the most for our earth that causes that creates right. the compost and the really good earth. Yeah, it's are the worms. Yeah. So well let's do let's first Zephyr do our cobra snake pose. Even though I don't think you're in Connecticut or I don't think anywhere in the northeast you're gonna see a cobra. I don't know about other where no. you find cobras no, in other parts of the world. But you find a garden snake, right? A cobra snake. Yeah, garden yeah. snake. So how so, about we could do and we could change it to garden snake pose? Yeah, let's do garden snake pose and then we'll turn it into a worm because worms are so good for our gardens. Ready? Garden snake pose is always like it never um looks never looks straight and starts wiggly, so we can do this. Okay, so you can follow Zephyr's snake and I'm gonna do the true snake pose because I like this for my body. We lift up baby snake. Then we come all the way up, king and queen snake. Then we come back down, baby snake. And then we tap our toes. Can you say? Uh, Garter snake. <laughs> All right, so Zephyr's going to demonstrate how your snake can slither if you want to slither. So he's going to slither. So you guys can go slither around the entire room if you want. 
if you maybe you know clean the floor with your bellies. I don't know how much cleaning your parents have done to you know in the last week, but maybe you get to clean the floor with your clothes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so he's gone. I don't know where he just went. He just slithered off into I don't know where. And then you guys can create your own little uh worm pose too so these are the things that you can do in this class where you don't even have to follow me you can do it in a way that works for your body so here he comes my little i'm going to sit up so you can go past me no, I'm no we're not going over me that's definitely you not happening no nope, you can go straight across uh -huh. back to your mat please. Well, our class is almost over so we'll try that another time thank you and go and go all right here he goes all right so we're gonna finish. Um, we're gonna finish up. We're almost done with this class, so we're gonna finish up. I have asked the kids who are out there watching to do their own warm pose in the meanwhile as well. So we're gonna turn our bodies into a basket again this time. But you're not gonna get in my basket today because you know what I'm gonna put in my basket today. I'm gonna pick all the flowers from my garden and put them in my basket. Okay. So everybody's gonna make their own basket, I and so you can have a regular basket like we do, or I collect all the creatures and put them in the basket. Awesome! Zephyr's putting the creatures. I'm putting the flowers. You could do I'm broken. The creatures and the flowers. You could do broken basket, or you can do full basket. Cool. And so you can put all the creatures in your basket. You can put the flowers in your basket, or you can put both in your basket. Or you can put both in your basket. And let's take a deep breath in here, make a bigger basket. And then exhale. And then we're going to take a little rest in our garden. Bring your hands here. Imagine you're under that tree that we grew. Turn your head to one side. This is my favorite part. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Sorry, I'm breathing on you. And then turn your head to the other side. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. All right, you guys, for those of you who have dogs, sometimes, and we have a cat, we have two cats, you've met one of our cats. We, our kitties and dogs love to run through gardens. So we're gonna be, we're not gonna do kitty cat pose today, but we are gonna do downward dog. So we're gonna do your hands. Well, Zephyr will demonstrate cat pose and I'll demonstrate dog pose, how about that? Okay, on the count of three, ready? I'm not gonna do cat and cow. Okay, you're gonna do just cat, right. Yeah. Okay, ready? Can you, can you get there? On the count of three, I'm going to push my body up to downward dog, and Zephyr's going to push his body up to kitty cat. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. You choose, and you can do both if you want. So kitty cat's on your knees, and downward dog's on your hands and your feet. This is going to be um, the cat pose without cat. Cat pose without cat. So Zephyr's making up his own, and I'm doing downward dog. So I want you guys to choose what works for your body. So if you're a dog, you can say, roof, roof, roof. If you're a cat, you're gonna say, "Yeah." All right. So I'm gonna. We're gonna do a little trick here. So now he's doing dog. Because on the count of three, you guys are gonna jump your feet to your hands and land on your bottoms. Ready? One, two, three. That was very good. All right, you guys, give your knees a big sure you squeeze. You did. I, mean, I saw that. That was now pretty. we have cat and cow, breast and cow. All right, so Zephyr is going to demonstrate roly polies here. Are you ready, Zephy? All right, three roly polies. Roly poly. Roly poly. Can you slow down a little? Roly poly. Legs up to the sky. I already did five. So this morning we did sleeping bat. So I like the idea of the bat because bats also eat all the mosquitoes yeah, from your garden. And the bat can be. So and sleeping yeah. bat. So sleeping bat, I always cover my eyes with my wings. Okay. Yes, I'm going to hold his legs up because this is a little bit of a hurt thing for him. So you're going to put cross your arms over your eyes for your wings. There we go. So here's our sleeping bat. And let's just wiggle our toes a little bit, get our bodies nice and relaxed. Let's count backwards so slow today. Ready? 10, 9. That's not slow. Oh, I'll do a little slower. 10, 9, nine 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, and 1. And it is time. For relaxation. So we, of course, are going to relax 
in our garden or under the tree or by I'm a bush, whatever you want to roll it. I'm not asking them under my apple tree. Perfect. That was going into my basket. Perfect. So Zephyr has a whole plan for his relaxation. So I want you to think about yours. So as the weather gets warmer and it's really nice to be out in our gardens, just think about where your favorite place may be in your yard or outside is to relax. And that's where you're going to relax right now. So maybe it's, I can. So maybe it's under the tree. Maybe it's next to like a little river or stream. Maybe it's um, just in your garden, like on the deck, wherever you live, wherever your garden is or wherever you enjoy. Maybe the park by your house if you don't have a backyard. So everybody lives in very many, so many different places. Not everybody has yards or gardens. So think about your favorite place. And if it's maybe even in your own bed, right? So just think about where you like to relax and a place that makes you feel calm and peaceful. So just even if you can imagine a garden, the garden we planted. So I want you to imagine that spring garden that we planted with so many flowers and you have all the buzzing bees and butterflies and hummingbirds and all the creatures around, ladybugs. As you relax, just imagine what your garden looks like if you had your own garden, right? If you can plant your own garden. I have my own garden. Yeah. So that I want you to envision that. So as you're laying here, picturing your own garden or your own space that feels really calming for you, which is really important to be able to do. Because when there's all kinds of other things happening that maybe make you feel big emotions, right? That like you're feeling worried or sad. If you can imagine a beautiful space for yourself, like a garden or just any, any old place that works for you, that makes you feel really good, really happy, really calm, really safe. That's perfect for you to just imagine right now. And you could do it any time of the day anywhere you are just imagine it and i'm gonna ring my chime and see if you can get really calm and still and imagine whatever it is you're lying on imagine you're lying on this the grass right the grass think about how it feels maybe it's a little damp or it's a little soft maybe it feels really warm under your body i want you to imagine what the grass feels under your body and if the I sun I is and bed. if the sun is shining, I want you to imagine the sun warming your toes, warming your belly, warming your nose, warming your fingers. And I'm gonna ring the chime again. And when you hear it, you're gonna give me that thumbs up. And when you don't hear it anymore, you'll put your thumb down. And everybody wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your belly, wiggle your nose. Quietly and gently bring your knees into your chest with a hug and a squeeze. Roll all the way up to sit. Crisscross yoga sauce on your yeah. mat. Make me take out our sun now. Yes, take out your sun if you have it, whatever you used. If you did, if you didn't, that's okay too. All right, let's get you ready. Come sit down, please. Come on, Zephyr. Bring your hands together to your heart. Can I, do I have to say the right words? Yes. Okay, fine. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. And we sing. Om. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. What does Shanti mean? Peace. So peace being kind, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to think about how when we sing Om Shanti Peace, we're sharing peace and kindness and joy out into the world, right? Mm -hmm. Bringing peace and calm and love to those who really need it right now. 
when we sing that. Bring your hands to your heart, we say, there's light inside me. There's light inside me. There's light inside you. There's light inside you. Together we are one. Together we are one. <laughs> Namaste. 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 Peaceful thoughts. Peaceful thoughts. Peaceful words. Peaceful words. Peaceful heart. Peaceful heart. Give yourself a big hug. Say, I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> And I'm going to get big hugs from Zephyr. All right, my friends. Okay, come sit down. Last final words for the week. It was our first week. You guys, high five. We did it. We got through one week. High five your family. Yeah, we did it. We got through a week. So this weekend is unknown. The unknown is happening. We're a little uncertain, but... Get your routines, figure out your schedules. Please incorporate some of my yoga into them. It's a good routine to, to bring in. Um, be gentle on yourself because this is new for all of us, right? And remember, we're all in this together. If you feel like donating, please do. If it's not in your means right now, no worries. Um, you can, I'll send in an email the website so again listen i'm changing my platform i probably won't be using crowdcast going forward but if you sign up for my net newsletter or on the emails here i'm going to let you know because i'll have this for the rest of the month anyway so I'll, I'll share with you guys who are registered all my info of where you can find me and um most likely i'll be doing zoom i'm not really sure yet i'm going to figure that all out Okay. I'll be figuring that all out this weekend and just please be in touch with me. Check me out on my, what? check me out on my social media, my Facebook, Instagram, all of that, that has all the information, sign up for my newsletter and then you'll get all my classes. Um, I want you to continue doing this with your kids. And so I will continue to share it. And in order for me to continue to share it, donations are great. Next week, I will have a new organization. Stay tuned to find out how much we're donating to the Connecticut Food Bank because of you guys. We have, we're donating a lot and it's pretty incredible. So thank you again for joining us. Um, and happy Friday. We made it. Yay. See you guys. Uh, soon oh and tomorrow i'll be doing another family yoga class on the breathing room uh website so i'll send that information out so you can join us again tomorrow at 3 30 um through breathing room but that's also information on my website i'll put it right on that uh same link so you can uh, sign up tomorrow for that all right see you later guys um have a peaceful Weekend. Peaceful, peaceful, peace, <laughs> peace, a lot, a lot of peacefuls and a lot of weekends. <laughs> a lot of exclamation points. <laughs> a lot of smiley faces. Yes, bye, everyone. Peace, smiley faces. Bye.